can't lose Kevin Underpants. He's my guy. Okay, by the end of this, you may. Oh. By the end of this, you may be pressing buttons for me. Okay. Right one is. Oh, God. This is not a good game for dyslexic people. Oh wait, I'm through. Thingy. It's like a USB thingy in front of you, sort of. Not that it helps you with the R2. Princess 
way up. Better be hit this damn thing. Man, I'm not going off through all this just for some like annoying hit. I do to save my son. Uh. Roosevelt. Roosevelt Drive? Search all the buildings. Whew. Get contact with the police. They couldn't just shut down the power to the thing. Yeah. Oh, we're back to you. That sounds dirty. <laughs> yeah, I'm just reading what it says. <laughs> she looks like she has dirt in her nose. Electrified. Ooh. I don't know why they get you a trophy. That's sort of you failing at that mission. I mean, you. I mean, you passed, but. Yeah. Yeah. I think I did pretty well, actually. I suppose. Take care of the guy. Oh my god. That's all you're good for. Because even though she like distrusts men for some reason, I've got to tell you, if I came across some random girl that was hot and she was all puffed up and bleeding, I might help her the first time. If later she had like electrical <laughs> burns across her like clothes, I'd be like, you know what? This, this is bad. Yes, <laughs> that's a warning sign. I know. Ethan. Ethan, can you hear me? And right. You've got a hell of a fever. Oh, give him the fever, Benson. I know what to do. I'll take the case. <laughs> your arms look really bad. I need to disinfect your wounds. Or is it her room? No, this is his room. His room. Which had a medicine cabinet full of medicine. Those burn marks on your chest? Which he had no idea what they do. Came with the room? I'm gonna have to get your clothes off to disinfect those wounds. I've used that line before. <sighs> no, she's a photographer. <sighs> it's 
So, your character must save my character because. And there's more medicine in there now. The game is sunk. Okay, you know what? You've done enough. I'm no doctor, but I'll do what I can. Right. Uh -oh. Damn it. <laughs> so, first, disinfectant. I work at a medical facility. Crap. It's disinfectant. Not terribly good for burns. Oops. Sorry. I'll go easier. Your wounds are disinfected. <laughs> you know? Yes. You're going too fast. No work. <laughs> Hold the stick gently. If you are um underage, just ignore her saying that. <laughs> Sorry, I'll take it easy. Sorry, I'll take it easy. I am not good at the massage thing. Slow big circle. Right. Ah! You didn't tell me I was doing another one! Sorry, I'll take it easy. I was done! Nope, you're done now. Jeez, I'm not sure I'm helping him. I better stop. Oh, you failed. Sorry, dude. And now he dies. Yes. How do you feel? Well, better if you'd passed your skill uh, tests. Uh, I've been better. Was I out for long? About three hours. Why the Guardian Angel Act? You don't even know me. <laughs> When I was a child, I was always the one who used to fix my brothers up when they'd been fighting with the other kids on the block. I, uh... Sounds plausible. I suppose I like to play the guardian angel. Sounds plausible. <sighs> Doesn't sound unplausible. You said you were here because you're an insomniac? I, um, 
I prefer not to talk about it if, if you don't She mind. seems to be the type of person that doesn't let people get close easily. You seem to lead a dangerous life. It's not the one I chose. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be asking you questions. I mean, after all, we hardly know each other. You have no reason to trust me. Listen, I'm truly grateful for your help, but for your own sake, I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. Okay. Maybe I could help you. I no one can help me. You've already done a lot, Madison. Right. I'm gonna go. Take care. We should stop writing. That's kind of the point of the game, huh? I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. I've got nothing to do with that business. I never killed nobody. Oh, no. Then why did you run away when they came to question you? I already told you. I forgot to report to my parole officer. I didn't want to go back to prison. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! Shit! Yes. Ash? <laughs> okay. Sean Moss's mother is here. She'd like to speak with you. It was a few months back. The middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. There was something. Something in his eyes. As if it wasn't really him. There may be no connection, but the next day there was that announcement about another victim of the origami killer. Find my son. I'm begging you. Yeah. Hey. I'm Police Lieutenant Carter Blake. And this is Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions about him. I'm sorry, that's impossible. I beg your pardon? I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn about any bullshit oath. It's your duty to inform the police if you suspect one of your patients, Doctor. I'm sorry, I can't help you. Now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate for your own sake. Hey, before you were like, you were saying this guy was killed. Now you have to protect I know you don't want to protect a murderer. If you know anything, you must tell us, Doctor. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you some free He's advice, Doctor. To me. I suggest you take it. Doctor, a child's life is at stake. You may know something that could help us save yeah. him. 
I am going to call the police and make a complaint about your behavior. Doctor, you are really pushing my buttons. The only thing I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So, you're gonna be a good boy and tell me what I want to know or I am really gonna lose my right, temper. What are you doing? Are you out of your Let mind? Go Back off, Jaden. This you guy are, knows something and I'm not leaving no here until he right. tells me what it is. <laughs> to hit him. I'm saving a kid's life for Christ's sake. If you don't like it, leave. If you don't let go of this man immediately, I'll report you and you'll be off the case. What the hell's the matter with you, Norman? Were you getting cold feet? You don't want to save Sean Mars anymore? I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me all rights. So you're gonna stop this shit right now. Ooh. Oh, no. Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. <sighs> Feels responsible for his death. Sort of morbid neurosis. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. It must have fallen out of his pocket. Bum bum bum. A new bonus! Doesn't say what the bonus is. But we have it and it's ours. Amazing! None of you can take it away from us. Did you just get under skin? Look, look, he does! Look! <laughs> Daddy wrote a pickle on his skin. <laughs> Hooray! Good cop. I want to every available man to find Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminals. I want every cop in the city on his ass, so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes, Ethan Mars is the origami killer. Why did I say origami wrong? The origami killer? Well, that was weird, really like... I he's from Nashville. I know, that was like a Boston... Was, what, really? The, the, it was a cutscene? And then... I didn't have to press any buttons. Okay. Not a single button was pressed. Wow. This may also be a good place to stop. Yeah, as soon as the cutscene stops. So I want to make sure it gets through this in case I don't know where it starts next. Right, okay, so the cutscene's over. So yeah, next time, come back, and we will discover why we're golfing in the rain, and what those two people are doing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Again, if you're underage, avert your eyes. <laughs>